All right, so today's video, we're gonna cover my beard routine. Um, and I'm gonna highlight the products that I use and also just to answer questions. I get a lot of questions in the comments. So I'm gonna try to wrap some of those things up as I go through my process. And of course, I'll be highlighting some Scotch Porter uh, products because people ask me all the time, Scotch Porter does have some good products. They've sent me some stuff to try out um, as a sponsor. Um, you can connect and get my discount code. It'll be in the comment section. Uh, so if you are looking for some products, I definitely uh, recommend using Scotch Porter if you can. Uh, but I will go through the, the, all their products, a lot of their products for the beard care, just to give you some insight. And as I said, just go through my routine and just show you my process of how I get down. So this should be a good video, an informative video, uh, maybe a little bit on the long side, but follow with me, track with me. If you are trying to grow your beard, trying to maintain your beard, I'm positive you will come up uh, with some good help and some good feedback on what you need to do. So let's get into it. Real men get it. Then, all right, so let's get into it. Did a little switch rule, of course. Go support your boy. Um, real men get it done. Uh, have some merch. Definitely, that's in the description as well. But my whole channel is about supporting fatherhood and supporting men. Um, sometimes uh, the society just tries to play us, whether you're a black man or a male in general. Of course, I'm black, so I have to come from my experiences. Uh, but the channel celebrates fatherhood and menhood just in general. So if you rock with that, if you are on that, please support the brand. I have a lot of cool merchandise that is there. Uh, but the brand, as I said, is also all about empowerment and about fatherhoods and us breaking those gender stereotypes. So let's get right into it. Um, okay, beard. So I have um, always had facial hair, probably since like college. I, my hair grows very fast. I'm a hairy guy. So sometimes even with your beard, that it comes with genes. Sometimes people are like, ah, oh, my stuff is patchy, what can I do? I believe there are things that you can do to help support the growth of your beard. Um, having some good products, washing it, maintaining it, those are all good things you can do. But you also, um, some of it may deal with your genes and stuff too, where things may happen. So some of the clips that I showed earlier, that's me at the barber shop. Of course, the barbers, that's their job to make sure you get right. So um, they, my barber, I found an awesome barber uh, who, who gets me right and um, just enhances the beard, makes it look awesome. But as I'm being at home, got to make sure I'm maintaining as well. And I've been cutting my hair for years. So if that's not a comfort zone for you, it's cool. Um, if you're trying to ease into it, definitely pick up some clippers, look at some YouTube videos especially during this time, everybody's in quarantine, things are open, it's a, no better time now than to try it and see if you can get your hand at it. Uh, so if I do go to the barbershop, um, I always, always uh, bald my head first, because that just saves you money. So, you know, quick tip, because I'm balding and I, I have a bald body, so I will go ahead and do that and then let the barber go ahead and get me right. No shave November, really letting this kind of grow in a little bit more, having been to the barber, so I'm, I'm gonna touch myself up and, and show you my length it's all matted and everything because I, I literally just woke up. But let's get into, um, I've been growing my beard. That's another big question people want to ask. How long have you been growing your beard? Just about a year, a little over a year. As I say, I have good genes. My hair grows really fast. So it doesn't, hasn't taken me terribly long to get my beard um, how it is. Uh, but as I say, that's just a question folks all often ask me. A little over a year. So let's jump into the products real quick before I get all up into everything okay so these are a new line of the products and when you buy uh, at least when i got the full kit in caboodle let me show you guys the full kit in caboodle there's a lot in here the full kit in caboodle came in a nice easy package you know just bam open it up all your stuff is there comes with a manual because if you are a newbie to this game you may like okay want to see all what the rest of their products are and they have some actual tips in here of how you should use everything so i'm not gonna go over that because it's not my routine like one of the things they have in here for example is like using a microfiber towel to dry your beard not my cup of tea particularly i just use a regular uh towel to dry but hey that may work for you um i think it does i remember seeing things in here about they talk about rinsing your beard with warm water and that's one thing i actually don't recommend cool water for some reason i looked this up before but I, i've been using cool water instead of the hot water and it works very well um with my beard not drying out so in addition to your products 
sometimes that wash routine, you gotta make sure you pay attention to that as well. Um, I usually have two different wash routines and I'll, sh I'll, I'll show you a wash routine every day where it may just be a general, just getting the, the surface oil and maybe a grime off of your beard. And that just happens every day with a shower. As I said, that's why I like to use cool water, not the hot water, because it dries your beard out to make it brittle. And then on a day like today, if I'm going to actually, um, you know, cut my hair, make sure I get right for the weekend, um, I will do a more deep clean where I use the beard wash conditioner and everything under the sun. So I'm going to go through again all the products, not just my kind of go-to, but just kind of show you a little bit of everything in the in the full kit and caboodle. So a couple of things that you'll get, and I think Scotch Quarter, as I said, they stepped their game up with some good products and whatnot. My two super go-tos definitely will probably be the beard wash that I use probably daily and then um, the actually leave-in conditioner. So if you um, on a budget and like, okay, I want to ball out and get everything, I highly suggest these two. These are my two number twos that I use um, on a daily basis, followed by probably their beard serum, which they have. Um, as I said, if you can only maybe pick or choose and, and really can only get two, I would start off with maybe these because these are going to really get you right. And you can easily make your own beard oil. I have a video on that dollar store, going to the beauty store, a couple of products, four or five dollars, you can create your own beard serum, um, relatively inexpensive. But uh, these are probably the three go-tos for my more daily use, and these are sporadically. So, as you do have Scotch Quarter of uh, face wash, can sometimes use this in conjunction with the beard wash. If I don't use this, I'm using this. As I said, this may, it, it, this could be used on a daily basis. And maybe if you're trying to save money, save product, you utilize this only on your deep beard wash days, you know, your, your deep beard wash and condition days. But maybe you just use this one on the daily, um, just to make sure you wash, uh, generally get your face clean. Uh, but I do use this, as I said, kind of on and off, honestly. And then the beer balm that they have. And then the actually leave in conditioner. So I think for the routine, as I said, people, I'm sure they do use these, but I don't touch these that often. And that's just being real. Um, it's like, why wait the time to do a beard wash and do a conditioner when you can do a leave in conditioner? And then with the beard balm, it's like, why use the beard balm when you can use a leave in conditioner? So to each his own, it may work different, different strokes for different folks. So they give you the complete collection, the complete line, and tell you what each one of them does. But for me, as I said, those are my three go-to. So real quick, let's see. Let me just explain what they say the, the beard balm does. So um, keeps beard soft and shiny and tamed. Uh, so, and then the conditioner, Next level deep conditioner, you know, softens uh, your hair. And that is really, oh, for the hair, oh uh, no, let me see, no, that's for hair balm. Yeah, that's the hair beard. Yeah, that's really all really, it really says about the, um, the beard balm. But this is the instructions that I'll read real quick of how it says you could use them. Beard wash. Then beer conditioner, of course, the conditioner is supposed to stay a little bit longer, so two to five days. Your beer wash is supposed to be only used, um, they, they say don't wash your beer deep conditioner no more than once every five days. So that's why I said for me, you, or for you, you could use the face wash on a more daily, um, because obviously your face, beard, it's all in one. Uh, but for me, as I said, just use a little bit of this, doesn't hurt me, I don't do the deep conditioner, but just to get the grit and grime off. So, beer wash, beer conditioner, the leave-in one. Uh, not not leave-in one, the actual regular beer conditioner because that's two to five minutes. Then it says, okay, so after your beer is washed and conditioned, then you can put in the leave-in beer conditioner. Then you can use the beer balm. And then you could use the beer serum to actually seal in your beer. So to me, again, that's just a... Uh, that's just so many steps. So they're actually saying beer wash, beer conditioner, then go from the, the leave-in conditioner, then using some of the beer palm, then using some of the serum. Yeah, the serum. 
so um, to seal everything in but for me as I said that's not really my go-to process I'll, I'll do it for today just to show y'all um, but again my go-to's on the regular are these three just to be honest And for me, I use the entire beard wash over my whole head when I'm doing it. Works for me, may not work for you, it's cool. I will say the Scotch Porter brand has, um, I think the smell is really good. But I'll be honest, I sometimes am one that doesn't like scents. So um, sometimes using it daily, it can be a little annoying. Uh, if I have one of those days where it's like, I really don't want to smell anything. Um, but it's, it's a soft enough scent, nothing too terrible. But just keep that in mind if you're person that just hates scents in your stuff. This isn't necessarily one of those. So just showing you real quick, if this is my regular kind of day and I'm in the shower, um, again, I, I, this, is, this is a little more of a deep wash, but just getting a little bit in your hands letting it suds up a tiny bit so that you can really just rinse it out and be on the go. That's what I use for my everyday when I'm using the beer wash, not the deep like I'm doing now. So as I mentioned, the face wash could be a good fit because that's just you cleaning your beard and your face, getting the grit and grime. This is more so of a deep, deep clean. So I'm gonna uh, get this right, get it all nice, and go ahead and do the, the conditioner for two to five minutes. Or on the two minute side just to show you. All right, so it's washed and conditioned. For me, I'm not gonna put the rest of the products in until um, after I'm done. Just kind of touching my hair up a little bit. That's just me. I just think from experience, a couple of things like for the barbershop, um, if you're going to the barbershop, they probably don't want your beard to be all full of gunk because they can cut it. But again, less product being in your hair or being in your beard, I think it's gonna give you a, a better cut. Um, that, that's just from experience. Now that could have changed, but I just know growing up at the barbershop, just was like, you always want to go with a clean head. Um, you don't want to call a whole bunch of product and stuff in your in your head, um, just so you can get a nice fresh cut. <clears throat> so that's me maybe being a little bit old school, but I try to make sure if I go to the barbershop that I don't have a bunch of product in my hair um, or my beard, just so you can get a nice fresh good cut and then um, I'll put my product and stuff in afterwards. So, I mean, I put a little bit of, or maybe a little bit of a uh, conditioner and stuff in there, but just not to be heavy with product is what I'm trying to say. So that's something to keep in mind. And for me, uh, since I'm going to shave my hair, the reason why I want a fresh head, because it makes it get the closest shave possible for the bald head. And then I'll go over with the razor. Now y'all are hard on a brother, man. I know a lot of times people are just trying to give good feedback and things that work for them. And I'm totally fine with that. So I would just preface and say, do what works for you. You have to find what's gonna be the best routine for you. And you have to um, just try, try different things. So for me, um, my metal comb, I love it. It's, it's, it's people sometimes have commented like, use a wood one, don't mess your beard up with. It, it, it's fine, like I've done plastic. Um, haven't done the wooden one, uh, but for me, I just I just love the metal one. It just works for me and, and for what I like to do. And um, even with uh, shaving my head, you'll see, I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, people are like, don't hit your razor against your sink when you're doing it. It's horrible, stop doing that. And I'm like, I, I get it. It's just, a, I'm a creature of habit. I try to get the loose hairs out. Um, I don't like having a, a, a faucet full of just water where you just kind of, so I keep the water running. I hit it a little bit to kind of knock those loose hairs out. Uh, so, and some people are like, shave against the grain, try it. I, I have sensitive skin. So for the most part, I do towards the grain. I just did one of my first against the grain um, last week. It wasn't too bad, um, but it gave a closer shave. So you, again, you have to do, you have to try what works for you. 
So those are my first um, two steps of using the Scotch Porter. Uh, as I say, I'm gonna do my hair and then I should do the last three steps um, in terms of the balm, the serum, and the leave-in conditioner. But this is my beard. This is the length of it. It's still a little damp. Now, I do like to use a heat comb, people. Not heat comb. Yeah, yeah, it is a heat comb. Beard straightener, heat comb. People call it different things. But, but my beard definitely has length by itself. Um, I think with the heat comb at times, it can tame it. Um, if I wanted to have it shaped up to maybe flow down a little bit more, or if you're a person like to let yours flow up, the heat comb can help with that. So I do want to show you guys that. It's a nice brand. I'll have a link in the description and everything with the discount code too if you want to try one of these out. Heck, I may even put one of these in the comments. I may even want to put one, give one of these away to somebody. For real, because a lot of dudes haven't tried it and I want you to be able to experience it, especially as if you're growing your beard, of just how it can help you maintain it. So this isn't something that I use necessarily every day. Um, if I were to use it every day, I would just use it gently, as I'm going to show you, um, not putting too much heat on it, like concentrated heat, but just a gentle to kind of help fill it out. But I, I have that turned on, so we'll let that warm up. What else? Other questions that I've been asked. Um, yeah, all my, all my stuff um, is really just me being a home barber and picking up tips and tricks along the way. this in terms of questions I've been asked. I do do my beer routine um, for me at least twice a day. You have to develop a routine. Uh, for me, definitely at night, either if I take a shower or not, try to make sure I'm maintaining my beard and kind of go through my routine of washing it and making sure my head is clean. And then um, just in the morning, just to put in product and stuff in. So if I go to sleep at night and have a fresh shower, I'm not necessarily taking a, another shower in the morning uh, for me to do my beard all over again. Um, but that is usually my routine, just taking care of my beard <laughs> during the day and at the night. Uh, so you have to develop that routine and take care of your beard. Uh, people often wonder why things, um, the beard isn't working. You can't wash it like you do your normal body. You can't just put anything in it. So it can get dry and get brittle if you're just washing your hair and your body the exact same way. You um, almost probably, if you're a beginner, need to separate the two. Wash your hair, uh, wash your hair and your beard in the sink before you jump in the shower so then you don't have to touch your face if you can't do a cold shower slash warm shower. So for me, I honestly do. I have been at a pro at it so much where if I jump in the shower, I can just position myself where I'm just doing my head. That's all cool water, not freezing water, but cool water, and then done with beard, wipe your face dry, then turn on the hot water and finish up your shower. So you may have to separate those just to make sure you get into a better routine um, with your beard care. But I'm going to finish up and then show you the last parts of the, of the, um, of the collection. And yeah, let's keep moving. Thank you. 
Okay, so a couple of things. Um, I am using a sensitive gel. It's a version of Avino, uh, just from Target. And then um, I have a fresh blade on here. So when I'm doing my actual top of my head, I only use my blade no more than twice. So the perfect snail would be great if you one every single time, but your boy tried to save a little bit of money. So only two times, and then um, I'm moving on to the next one. And I only shave, I only do my head, I only do my head uh, once a week. So I'm not shaving every day. I have sensitive skin as I mentioned, and um, I'm just good on shaving every single day. and doing my head every day. So um, just once a week is uh, what I do. All right, so I am going for a more natural look. Um, I'm calling it No Shave November. Uh, I'm actually not calling that. It's No Shave November is actually a real thing if you don't know. But um, yeah, just was taking this month off of going to the barber shop and just wanted it to really grow in a little bit more. So I'm just really trying to attune to just having a fresh body uh, with, and then just keeping everything um, off of my lip. So a nice little small trim over my lip, but just really keeping everything um, really kind of natural and raw. Cleaned up my neck, of course, um, but I've been seeing a lot of the bros just doing that. And I, and I like the, the look of, of not having to stress so much about the barber or even shaping myself up um, and just kind of letting it grow some more and to grow out. So, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna put the products in now after I've been done. Again, has my, my natural gray is popping. People always ask too, what tools am I using? This is uh, Old Bay Rum. It's, it's, it's at the beauty store. They use it at the barbershop. I just have it in a, in a spray bottle, but just use that to uh, make sure my head is nice and clean from the shade. Doesn't sting too bad. Personally, I like to just make sure it's all right. So I'm getting bumps or anything. I do like to use also a sensitive uh, post bomb from Nivea. It works very well for my head and even the parts that were shaving, so under my neck and everything, just to use a little dab of that as well. All right, so again, what I would normally do is just use leave the beer conditioner and also the um, serum, but they are saying to use all three. So I believe it had the serum using that last. So just a little bit of conditioner. And I just use really like a quarter size. I don't use a lot, even on my you know beard having a lot a, a larger beard because I just don't like a lot of heavy products on my face. So I try to keep it light as possible. I use my pick throughout just to kind of work it in there with my hands and my beard. Okay, and here's the bomb. And now that I think about it, you know, you may want to, depending on, cause I can't remember what the prices are. Don't forget, discount will be in my my um, my description. But you may, I mean, if you don't like the leave-in conditioner or to pick and choose, maybe you want to do the balm instead so you can have more product. Actually, no, the leave-in conditioner is more product. This is four ounces, this is three ounces. So yeah, 
As I said, you gotta figure out what works for you, but just try one or two of them if you're trying to save some money for sure. You don't have to buy the whole kit and caboodle, but you can. Right, and last but not least, just a squirt or two of the serum. And sometimes to be real for my night routine, um, if I do a good wash, you know, gentle wash, I may use again the serum and the leave-in conditioner. Then by the next day, only need to use one of them. Only need to use the serum if I'm about to walk out the door. So as I said, you, you just gotta play around with this. Gosh, Porter, I think they do a good job with the manual I showed you earlier, showing you all the steps and processes. But as you continue to grow your beard and pick up tips and tricks, you'll figure out what works for you. But the biggest thing I can reiterate out of this whole thing is that you have to have a process. You can't wash your beard like you wash the rest of your head and your body and definitely use cool water. It doesn't have to be ice cold, but man, it's just something that that hot water does not do kindly, especially if you're African-American and have a, have a beard. You gotta wash it in, in at least cool water. Okay, so then here's my beard straightener. I have it up high, but I'm going very gently, very quickly on it not damage my beard. It gives you a little bit of length because it is straightening your hair. But again, my beard is just long anyway. But if you are a guy that's struggling and trying to get your beard right, that definitely could help you tame it and maybe get you a little bit more length if you need it, if you want it. And beards are going to be beards. They're not going to be perfect unless you go to the barber and have them shape it up. So, I like my raw and more rugged look. And that's it, bros. That's it. That's how I keep it healthy, keep it maintained. And that is showing you really all the Scotch Porter products that you can use at your disposal to get you right. Try to think, is there any other questions that I can answer? Um, who knows? Of course, I uh, try to pick out a lot of the ones that people send me. Uh, but of course, I'm going to miss some things. So leave some things in the comments of the questions you may have concerns. I do my best. I try to respond to everybody. But this was a fun video. Appreciate y'all so much. Make sure that y'all are tuning in to what we're doing. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, I'll be in touch at you soon. So till next time, peace and blessings. Real men get it done.